The Story of Abraha and the Year of the Elephant A Tale of Divine Intervention and Faith in the arid deserts of ancient Arabia, where the sands whispered secrets of the past and the stars painted stories across the night sky, a tale of divine intervention and unwavering faith unfolded. It was a time when mighty empires clashed and ambitions soared like the golden eagles of the mountains. Among these ambitions was that of Abraha, a powerful ruler from Yemen, whose heart was set on diverting the course of pilgrimage from the sacred Kaaba in Mecca to his grand cathedral in Sana'a. Driven by a vision of glory and supremacy, Abraha assembled a formidable army, with towering elephants leading the charge, to lay siege to the heart of Mecca. Abraha was an Abyssinian, Ethiopian general, who had taken control of Yemen, a region under the influence of the Christian kingdom of Aksum. As a devout Christian, Abraha's ambition extended beyond political control. He sought to establish religious and economic dominance by redirecting the flow of pilgrims from Mecca to his own kingdom. To achieve this, he constructed a grand cathedral in Sana'a, known as al Kulays, intending it to rival the Kaaba in its religious significance. The cathedral was an architectural marvel of its time, reflecting the grandeur of Abraha's vision. Built with exquisite craftsmanship, it was adorned with lavish decorations and precious materials. Abraha believed that this magnificent structure would attract pilgrims from all over the Arabian Peninsula, thereby shifting the religious and economic center of gravity from Mecca to Sana'a. However, despite its splendor, the cathedral could not diminish the deep-rooted sanctity of the Kaaba which had been a central place of worship for the tribes of Arabia for centuries. As Abraha's forces advanced towards Mecca, the people of Mecca, led by the noble Quraysh tribe, were overcome with a profound sense of dread. They knew that their modest defenses stood no chance against the colossal might of Abraha's war elephants and well-equipped soldiers. With hearts heavy yet brimming with faith, they sought refuge and prayed for divine intervention. In the silence of the desert, their prayers were answered in a manner beyond human comprehension. As the army of Abraha approached the sacred city, the sky darkened with the sudden arrival of flocks of birds, each carrying tiny stones of baked clay. These birds, known as Ababil, descended upon the invaders with a ferocity and precision that seemed almost celestial. The stones they dropped struck down soldiers and elephants alike, reducing the once formidable army to a state of chaos and despair. The mighty elephants, once symbols of strength and power, fell to the ground, their spirits broken by a force unseen and unanticipated. Abraha, witnessing the decimation of his grand ambitions, was struck with a grave illness, his dreams of glory turning to dust in the face of divine retribution. He retreated, his pride shattered, leaving behind a legacy of divine justice that would be etched into the annals of history. The people of Mecca, witnessing this miraculous event, found their faith in the protection of the divine reaffirmed and their resolve strengthened. In the Quran, this event is immortalized in Surah Al-Fil, the elephant, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Have you, O Muhammad, not seen how your Lord dealt with the owners of the elephant? Did he not make their plot go astray? And he sent against them birds in flocks, striking them with stones of baked clay, and made them like eaten straw. This narrative, steeped in miraculous intervention, underscores the might and omnipotence of the divine, reaffirming the sanctity and inviolability of the Kaaba. The miraculous defeat of Abraha's army served as a powerful reminder to the people of Mecca and the Arabian Peninsula of the divine protection bestowed upon the Kaaba. This event not only reinforced the spiritual significance of the Kaaba, but also strengthened the Quraysh tribe's role as its custodians. The aftermath of Abraha's failed campaign left a profound impact on the socio-political landscape of Arabia. 
the Kaaba's status as a sacred sanctuary was solidified, and Mecca's importance as a religious and commercial hub was further enhanced. This event occurred in the same year as the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, known in Islamic tradition as the Year of the Elephant, 570 CE, adding an additional layer of significance to the narrative. Abraha's story is not merely about his failed military campaign, but also about the broader implications of human ambition and the limits of earthly power. His grand cathedral, al Kulais, despite its architectural splendor, could not eclipse the spiritual significance of the Kaaba. This underscores a timeless lesson about the ephemeral nature of material grandeur when contrasted with the enduring power of faith and divine will. The tale of Abraha and the Year of the Elephant is a poignant reminder of the interplay between human aspirations and divine intervention. It serves to illustrate the futility of attempting to undermine that which is divinely protected and revered. The grandeur of al Kules, built with the intention of rivaling the Kaaba, now stands as a testament to the futility of such efforts when they are misaligned with the divine will. As we delve deeper into this ancient story, we are invited to reflect on the broader themes of humility, faith, and the recognition of a higher power that governs the course of human history. The miraculous events that thwarted Abraha's invasion remind us that ultimately there are forces beyond human control that shape our destinies. This story, preserved through generations, calls upon us to look beyond the material and contemplate the profound truths that lie hidden in the folds of history. In the end, the story of Abraha and his elephants serves as a timeless lesson about the power of faith and the limits of human ambition. It is a tale that transcends the sands of time, urging us to reflect on the fragility of our pursuits when set against the backdrop of a higher power. As we ponder this ancient story, we are reminded that in the face of true faith, no earthly power can prevail. This narrative invites us to embrace humility and recognize the enduring power of the divine, which guides and protects us through the trials and tribulations of life.